I feel the most comfortable on my skis in all areas of life. As soon as I click in, it definitely get a whole new confidence. There's a lot of different things about skiing, I think, that ultimately draws me to the sport, but I think mainly just the freedom of being on the mountain every year, the respect I have for the mountain grows, and I think that's part of the connection, you know. As I'm humbled by certain situations, the connection and understanding just grows. Skiing for me all started on hood, just a family thing. My parents took me up to the mountain for the first time, and as far back as I can remember, I was hooked. We were just hanging out in the park, kind of chilling, and this little 11-year-old kid came terrassing through the rails. And right off the bat, I knew he had something. He had this aura about him, a, a sense of style that was well beyond anybody I'd ever filmed. He had something about him that a lot of skiers that have a lot of talent don't have, and it was just solid character and work ethic. He would go the extra 10 hikes to get the shot and he would smile the whole time. He was having a blast. I was proud he was from Mount Hood, and I was proud of his style of skiing. Sammy's talent stems from amazing air awareness. You know, he's, he's comfortable in the air, going big. And with that, he's refined the tricks to a point where I feel like he makes them look easy. I was learning all these rotations just from just time on snow, repetition doing sevens over and over again until it felt, you know, really effortless, and then I'd move on to the nine. Sammy Carlson is a youngster out of Oregon, but he has been in the zone. I was a senior in high school, and I really wanted to do well there. I ended up getting second place right behind Candy Thovex, which is definitely childhood hero. You know, I was really stoked and proud to be standing up on the podium next to him. That was a pivotal moment. At this point, I'm in the films and I'm hanging out with all the all the skiers that I looked up to, you know, all my childhood heroes. Now I'm having interaction with them. That's when I felt like I made it, you know, like I made it here and wanted to make sure it wasn't going to just be short-lived. He wanted to take the sport in different places, and he was very driven to do that and very competitive, just really trying to solidify his place amongst a bunch of names that had been established already through the X Games and whatnot. And Sammy hadn't really gotten that piece of the pie yet, but he really wanted it. When Double Cork started coming into X Games, I was kind of nervous. Like, I don't know, like, I've never done a double flip, like, ever in my life, you know, not on a trampoline, not on anything. So I started going to the diving boards with friends, and we just start hucking double flips off the diving boards. It was just pure progression for me and just went for it, 100% commitment and stomped my first ever like, double flat spin. And then from there, I started doing more double double flips, double corks, and and then when I did the switch triple, I just kind of like blew my own mind and that like made me realize like if you do focus on something, truly, you can do whatever you want. You just gotta put the energy in. Silver to bronze in a couple years. Let's uh, watch him unfold it. Three doubles in a row we're expecting here from Sammy Carlson. The switch double rodeo. Can he finish it off? Forward. Double 1080 view grab from Sammy Carlson. Great run. He's going to be feeling very good about that. It wasn't like I just showed up at X Games my first year and won. You know, there was steps to get there. And along the way, I learned some pretty valuable lessons. So like, walking off the podium was just like, you know, mission complete. Didn't do any more contests that season, and I just just focused on skiing powder. And that year, I decided I really wanted to like start focusing all my energy to someday make a make a full length ski film. 2012, coming into X Games, I was really fired up to try and go back. You know, I was defending gold medalist, rolling in slope style contests. I ended up not qualifying for finals. The next day, we were going into the big air and I'd watched the night before some snowboarders dropping some triples on the jump. And that kind of inspired me and motivated me to like, okay, like maybe it's possible to drop the triple this year on this jump. We did see it last night, so we'll have to see. Sammy Carlson, whoa! Wow, yard sale reaching for his knee. And as soon as I hit, I just felt my leg just completely give away and everything just stopped. 
once I hit the lip, I knew like I didn't get the snap that I needed to spin into the third cork, so I just spun out of the rotation. As soon as I hit, I just felt my leg just completely give away. And I blew my MCL out and my PCL out, but they were just spider webbed on enough where the doctor had hoped that they'd come back. And I ended up not needing surgery. Started working out every day. I had a PT session in the morning, then I'd work with a personal trainer. So I was on a really good program and I came back strong. I started skiing again, um, I think it was in July up on Mount Hood. I didn't lose the tricks or anything. I just noticed I lost that feeling for the speed when you're really feeling it, when you're flowing, like you're not thinking about your speed, you're just, you just feel it and you have total confidence, you know? So it took me a while to get that confidence back to ski the way I wanted to, you know? Initially, my first thoughts were like, wow, you know, this is huge for skiing to be in the Olympics now. I just won X Games, like, you know, why can't I go to Sochi now and, you know, push my skiing there? but I kind of already had started pursuing, you know, this, this other route. So it kind of became like this distraction for me, you know. He was positioned where anyone would expect him to go and to try and make that U.S. team. And I don't think his heart was fully in it because he had explored these other sides of skiing that he was having a lot more fun with. Being out in the backcountry on a snowmobile and pushing that side of skiing was more Sammy's mission when the Olympics rolled around. The team came in and I was down to be a part of it. I recognized the opportunity for sure. I made sure to be ready so like when the time comes, like if I did decide I wanted to do it, like that I would be ready and I'd give myself at least a fair shot, you know, to be there. And as it got closer, the more I just knew that that wasn't the way I wanted to push my skiing and I just ultimately had to decide for myself. And I just knew like, that I was ready to move on this time. Sammy not deciding to go to the Olympics I thought was a good idea. I don't think that it was going to help move his career forward any more than any other avenue he might take. You've got to kind of just move on and follow your path. And if the Olympics wasn't going to be for him, that doesn't mean it's the end of his career. And it's certainly obvious that it wasn't. Yeah. He's just continued to get better and better in spite of it. The goal for me is just to continue pushing my riding and ultimately that's leading to Alaska. A lot of people would maybe look at what we're doing and think it's absolutely insane, you know, but you know, I started skiing when I was four, so it's just the, the evolution of my skiing and every year I try and step further and further into the mountains and every year I become more comfortable with it. So I have more passion for it, more respect. I'm more humbled by it all. So every year I just keep focusing on what feels fresh to me. I think like if you were to take a snapshot of skiing right now and just uh, evaluate all the characters who are in it, I think Sammy would float to the top as like one of the most well-rounded skiers and like has one of the best heads on his shoulders and he's just one of those characters that defines this generation of skiers for me. I'm really grateful for the success I had with the X Games in all those years for sure and I'm moving forward I'll always, you know, carry that with me. My skiing these days is bigger than just myself. I try and just represent for my fans and like all the people on Mount Hood, people that have inspired me along the way. Like I've learned that life is truly what you make it. You know, like you can can do anything you want in this world. Like whatever you dream of, if you like truly believe it, you can do it. Howdy folks, Jack Matrani here, host of the X Games. Thank you for watching Being. Make sure to subscribe to X Games' YouTube channel. And if you want to continue watching some more Being, check out the playlist. Or not, whatever you want to do. I'm not like here to tell you what to do. I mean, but like just giving you a heads up of what you can do.